You may initiate physical contact at any time. Wife-like love scene analysis. When do you consider a robot suitable to replace a real woman? Welcome to Manage Your Highlights Daily. Food for thought. Something worth thinking seriously about. One of the things we like most about this channel is the comment section of the videos. We learn so much from you guys and that's why we want to bring you content that makes you think and provokes discussion. The title of this video is a direct question to you guys. When do you consider a robot suitable to replace a real woman? Now we're going to take a look at the love scene from the wife like movie because it really makes you think about what is under the tip of the iceberg. We made a full rapid review of the wife like movie. Make sure you check that out. Guys, this is copyrighted material so we have to freeze the video for YouTube. Patreon supporters salute! The original video will be on Patreon. Now it's time for us to get into this and do what we gotta do because we men ain't we? She. Would you like Meredith to touch you now? Yes. Please activate intimacy settings. All you need to do is make direct eye contact with your companion to get started. Now, identify yourself, choose a command, and authorize activation. William Bradwell. Initiate voice command. Activate intimacy mode. Soyo Zhi Shen Fen Yan Zheng. William Bradwell the Shen Yin Bei Shibia. Set level. Languages. English. Please save. Saved. Owner identification. Verified. Voice of William Bradwell. Recognized and saved. Intimacy mode activated. Please set your companion's sex drive levels. Open settings. Set level. Sex drive. 50%. Please save. As a companion, our priority is to please. Recommendation is to set your companion's sex drive to 80%. <laughs> Open settings. Set level. Sex drive. 80%. Please save. Saved. Would you like Meredith to express pleasure physically and emotionally? Yes. Open settings. Set level. Physical and emotional satisfaction. 90%. Please save. Saved. Thank you. And please note that any damage done to your companion will result in its immediate return to our facility, where you will be liable for all repairs. Your companion is now fully sexually active. Enjoy your evening, Mr. Bradwell. You may initiate physical contact at any time. <laughs> I'm nervous. Meredith, we'll go slow. This is pure gold. I'm really curious what you guys think about this scene. Of course, we had to exclude what happens in bed, but the robot aspect disappears and it looks like he's doing it with a real woman. 
so he doesn't have any complications in these love scenes. So like any other system, you have to adjust the settings to your liking and once that is done, the process is no longer needed. The question is, does it feel real? Could a robot compete with the real deal? Shout out to the actress Elena Kampouris for doing a great job portraying the robot because personally I don't see myself getting a hard one from a robot. Just the thought alone messes me up. I think this would have a bigger impact on me. What's wrong? He broke contact. Contact? I didn't even touch you yet. But I, I thought you wanted to make love. Is that what you call this? First sex has been proven to produce higher orders of alpha waves during digitized transference of sexual energies. If it can get my brain to think that it's real. <laughs> That clip was from the movie Demolition Man, by the way. This next scene hits different now. And this is from the movie Cherry 2000 and you wouldn't notice the difference between a real woman and the Cherry 2000, only during conversation. That's why it, not being fully waterproof, is kind of strange for an advanced robot. But that was the beauty of the 80s. There was a lot of space for imagination. Technology wasn't advanced to the point that an advanced robot short circuits because of water wasn't strange. You could get away with a lot in the 80s. Wife like also has a love scene in the shower. So when the time arrives, these robots will be profound products. There are definitely pros and cons to this. And that's why the answer to the question when do you consider a robot suitable to replace a real woman is gonna be different for a lot of guys. Personally, I never had problems getting dates or getting laid. For me, it was about family. And most of the women I would date, I didn't see as the mother of my children. Right now, I have a lovely woman who comes from a family culture and I will never take her back home to be poisoned with ephemism. Two week vacation max. So if I did not want a family, I would have no problems being by myself. I would get in trouble with my exes because I enjoy being alone. They couldn't understand it, so they immediately thought I was cheating on them. One woman is already exhausting. Why would I go out there and add another energy draining leech to my life? So for me, an artificial womb would be a game changer. I need a woman because I can't have children by myself. So I wouldn't have a robot for sex because I enjoy the real deal. And when I get to a level that I'm not able to get it like I used to get it, there are pros that can help me out with that. But I would have a robot to help me around the house and have some intellectually stimulating conversations with it, just like Janice. Now this was my take and what works for me doesn't have to work for you. That's why we're not here to tell you what to do. This is your life. We just want you to think about it and protect yourself at all times. So let us know your take on this so we can all learn from each other. We'll be looking for some good ones that we can highlight in a video. Patreon supporters salute! Manosphere, we working. Protect yourself at all times. This video has officially been highlighted.